happens all the time. I'm such a dummy. I'm going to Natsukashi Con in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And I got up at five. Then I was like, oh, I have plenty of time. So I went back to sleep. And now here I am rushing to this convention. Convention starts at noon, and I'll probably be getting there 10 minutes before it starts. Get your shit together. I'm excited because a lot of my friends are here. I haven't seen a lot of them in a while, but I'm gonna go and set up because I'm late. I actually really like the venue. I loved how they had games set up and was very spacious. Now it's unfortunate that what they did was they split the convention between the hotel, which was like a five minute walk away from the vendors. A lot of people did not venture down to the artist alley because everything was in the hotel. You had games there, you had your panels there, your meetings with the guests, your uh, cosplay contests, the tournaments, all that stuff in the hotel. Five minutes away from the vendors and the artists. Just imagine there's a room full of gold and trinkets and all this other beautiful treasures, right? And you have access to that. But if you walk five more minutes, you may be rewarded with more gold, but you have to walk around crocodiles, gators, snakes, all these other dangerous animals just to potentially get something worth having. Now, obviously, there might be people that venture on and try to see if they can get something better from this room full of all these dangerous animals. But most people are just going to be like, I'm good right here with this money. And I'm not saying we're like bad people, but what I'm saying is that they may come there and it might be nothing that they want. You know, the vendors just don't have what they want, right? But the vendors are going to constantly hound you. Hey, come over to my table, do this, blah, 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 blah. You're, you're putting yourself in that situation where people are going to, and then it's like you feel bad because it's like, oh man, they're really trying, but I really don't want to give them my money because I really don't want their stuff and blah, 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 blah. Snake's been starving, so, you know, give it a little nibble or whatever. It's not poisonous. Do you see my drift? Why put yourself through any of that when you can just get the most of everything away from that? So many people didn't show up as much on Friday. It was, it was a total bust. I'm not gonna lie. I think it got maybe like two sales the whole day. So it was, it was not good. No, no bueno. Mm. But I did allow people to play my tabletop game, which is awesome. And I got really good feedback on it. It's got a little delay right now, but it should be out within the next month or so. So just hold on. But yeah, it was nice to get that feedback. So I know that I have a game that people are actually going to enjoy. But most of the time was basically just hanging out with all the other vendors and talking about how shitty this is. No one's coming through. <laughs> um, it, it really sucked. It, it really Friday really sucked. I'm not going to lie. Moving on. So yesterday was bus. Didn't make that many sales. But, you know. There's today. And the thing is, I met some really awesome people at this convention and they made the time actually pretty enjoyable. I'm gonna be a little late. Are you serious right now, bro? I'm gonna be a little late because I have to get these prints from Walmart. I thought Walmart did hour long printing. Psych, psych on me. So the size that I needed takes four or five hours. Who's using Walmart printing like that where it takes four or five hours to do two prints? They don't open until nine o'clock. And guess what? The convention starts at 10 a.m. today. Do you see my dilemma? The prints are about my game. I don't feel like standing there with my tablet and going over instructions. I'd rather have a big poster there that explains everything and they can just play as they will. So I need those posters, but anyway, it's sure to be a good time. Tonight is a rave and your boy, he's dressing as Negroske. 
Negrosuke from Demon Slayer. So, it should be fun. I hate fucking wigs. I don't have the time to fuck around with these things and make them look a certain way. I'm done. This time I had my prints with me for my game, so that went a lot more smooth. I didn't have to stand there and explain everything over and over again. Instead, they could just read the directions, so that was great. I got to talk to a lot of people in my Negro Ski costume, but um, still it was more of the same, to be quite honest. There wasn't a lot of people out there, and a lot of people weren't putting money down at all. They were they were not trying to buy anything so I was I was highly uh, upset to say the least but at least the rave was coming I'm not gonna lie I was not feeling the rave uh, they had kids there and it kind of brought the mood a little bit down not to mention it ended at 11 supposed to go 11 to like 2 but because there were kids there it was only until 11 so at least my friend Tanner seemed to have a lot of fun all right so today is the last day of the convention We'll see how it goes. It hasn't been as good as I was hoping. Let's see how things go. Care to guess how Sunday went? Come on. Guess. Guess. Look at that. Everybody's packing up. My neighbors left me. It's crazy. They're all gone. Hopefully more sales for me if anybody comes. Maybe. So overall, pretty bad. So here's the space, and there's so much, there's so much underutilized space in here. Like all this area, these tables are really bad. So we could have used this maybe even for the game area. All this underutilized space right here. This could be like a panel area or something. I like that painting though. Yeah, games over here that they're, they're not using. The center could have made money. There's games over here. There's a dance dance revolution machine. There's a dance dance revolution machine. Instead of talking about just, oh man, this con's bad, blah, blah, blah. It has potential. It really has potential. Now, I know that originally they had staff to cover those game rooms, the laser tag and the um, arcade and stuff like that, and they lost the staff. Perfectly fine. We should have just moved all the vendors into the hotel because the game room where you had the tournaments, it was huge. It was freaking huge. So you could have easily split that off and made that into the artist alley, vendors alley. Plus, they had an arcade inside of the hotel, too, that you can play. So, you know, people would have had fun then. Or you could have moved all the events into that recreation room. Because as I was showing you, there's plenty, there was plenty of space to do this stuff. And, you know, for first year, I don't think it was over maybe like 500 or so people. They had plenty of space left over there. You could put panels, you could have guests and all that stuff. There was plenty of space in there to still do everything. Doing that right there would have solved a lot of problems, to be quite honest. Also, the rave has to be a rave. It can't just be like someone randomly playing songs off of their computer and then you go up there and request the song, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's, you gotta have a DJ. And there's plenty of DJs out there that are looking for an opportunity. Then to top it all off, you have little kids running around. So it's kind of like, you know, you're trying to dance and have fun. And you got little kids running all circles around and stuff. <laughs> the only saving grace, unfortunately, unfortunately for me, is that I met a lot of cool people. And, um, you know, 
that's always great. It's always good to network and have more friends that are artists. Overall, it was kind of medium risk for me. The table was really cheap. It's like an hour, 15 minute drive for me. You know, that's three days back and forth doing that. I didn't, I wasn't dying at the end of the convention, but I was just kind of disappointed. But I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Now I will say the plus side is they opened up a discord for the convention and you go to their discord and you can talk about stuff to improve. So I will say that about the people that own the Comic Con. They uh, try to take the feedback and listen and hopefully they incorporate it next year and make it better.